one wheel and barely their handlebars. One LSU student says this is the only way to go. Unicyclist Matthew Huber says he picked up a hobby after his parents gave him a unicycle as a gag gift. Huber says he enjoys the funny looks people give him when they see him out and about. Not to mention the number of people who ask him to teach them how to ride. Huber says the first step is holding onto a friend or wall to maintain balance. You get to used to how your feet move and how it changes holding on to something. And after you do that a bunch of times, then you can let go. You still fall a bunch of times, but uh, then after that, you sort of get used to how it feels. If you think simply riding a unicycle is difficult, imagine riding it all the way to New Orleans. Huber says it took lots of preparation, patience, and persistence to ride to New Orleans. He says he had to learn to ride faster and for a longer period of time. The longest I did before that ride was about 70 miles. So I, I was pretty confident that I could handle the distance. That was amazing. It was pretty much the coolest thing I've seen on campus since I've been here. Um, I can't imagine going all the way to New Orleans for that. I never realized how hard it was to do what he does. Huber's one piece of advice for those considering unicycling. You have to go into it with a mindset of perseverance that you want to get through it. With unicycling, practice really does make perfect. For Newsbreak, I'm Heather Harrell.